Captain's log, February 27th, 2011, after five days of sailing from Isla Mujera. We have finally reached Belize. Belize it or not, we are here. Very difficult and tricky uh, getting into Belize. There's a barrier reef that blocks anyone from getting to Belize. You have to cross at this one particular coordinate that we're almost at and if you don't hit it right you're gonna hit the reef and that's not good okay these nice guys over here they're Belizeans they pointed out the uh, entrance through the barrier reef here it looks like there's a big yellow thing that we aim for a buoy once we get there we gotta make a hard right because there's a reef just inside I decided to come up on the bow to give us all a better look how we get in there water continues to be amazingly clear everywhere we're going and look way down to the bottom here's the yellow buoy we're coming up on caution all that white over there is where it's really shallow it's not much room that we have to maneuver here I'm very proud to say here on February 27th, 2011, that I have successfully navigated us to K. Calker, Belize without a chart. All I had were coordinates provided to me by Captain Glenn Sexsmith. And it turns out he's still here. I just spied his boat through my binoculars. So we're gonna engine up here and park ours anchor-wise next to the SV Kachina. The boat skippered by Captain Sex Smith. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the coordinates, sir. Let me see. The usual. That's what we've had for the last five days straight. We've been on the sea for five days straight. I'm excited to get in here to Cape Cocker and eat some Belize. I don't even know what Belizeans eat, but it's got to be good. I'm hungry for some something besides oats and ramen and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right, let's go anchor up. Ahoy! Captain Oost is trying to secure our anchor. Nowhere! Except inland! For food! Belizean food! 